Tracy Beaker, the next time you want to tie dye your t-shirts, keep your paws off my food colouring. Okay, Justine. the last one could I? I've got such a busy schedule what with Tracy's parents evening I won't get a chance to eat she won't be getting a very good report from her teacher though then what can you expect nobody's perfect Elaine Mike Mike I found a monster story yeah big enough to fill the front page big enough to fill the whole newsletter I'm going to get rid of Elaine the pain for good go on dish the dirt I know you hate her I'll quote you as an anonymous source. You could put me down as the King of Siam. You're not getting one word out of me about Elaine. See, you do hate her. Otherwise, you would have said something nice. Apparently, Elaine asked Ryan and Zach if they wanted to play football. She must be desperate. Well, it won't kill her to try a little bit harder, will it? And I'm sick to death of her riding roughshod over everybody's feelings. Can I quote you on that? Tracy! What's happened to Jenny? She's in hospital, in groin toner. Well, I'm in charge, actually. Oh, no, seriously! I find that very hurtful, Tracy. Well, I don't know this Lee person. She's bound to disrupt things. We're all very sensitive, you know. A lot of us come from broken homes. Her name is Leah, and I hope you'll give her a fair chance. Yeah. That went surprisingly well. You've met Tracy, then? She's all right, really. They all are. As crazy as a box of frogs, but a great bunch. I'm sure you're right. You see, you can have all the training and qualifications you like. But the secret of being good at this job is experience. You've got to be as friendly and as open as is reasonable. What, you mean something like getting them all together for a meeting to introduce myself properly? Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea, yeah. Great, well, thanks for the suggestion. I'll call a meeting. Come on, kids. You can't sit around vegging in front of the television all morning. Oh, Mike! Jenny, what are you doing here? I was watching TV. Louise said I could. Louise? What's she got to do with it? Will you move out of the way? We're missing it. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys? What are you doing? Louise, no, we could. Louise? That is enough, Maxie. Sorry, Justine. <laughs> Somebody pinch me. <laughs> Ow! Tell me what's going on. Well, Jenny made Louise Jenny, and Louise made me Duke. Did anybody make me anything? Ah. Ask Louise. You were supposed to knock. Is there something you want to talk to me about? Well, as everyone seems to be swapping around today, I was wondering who I'm supposed to be. Hmm. Mike. Oh. Well, Jenny and Duke have the day off. I better keep a grown up spare, just in case. Shut the door on your way out. Very nice. No, don't sit there. What? What? It's over here. I'll move this out of the way. Hey, be careful with my work, you. Care to pour Camilla? Biscuit Michael? Thank you. Cheers. You won't believe what I caught Maxie and Peter up to this morning. Making footprints in the butter? <laughs> I'm just gonna go and freshen up. No, but you're not far off. As Louise said, <laughs> she, she had to keep an adult spare. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> incredible thing you've ever seen happen. It was just unbelievable. This thing just flew down out of the sky and hit him on the head. He woke up. Well, he didn't actually wake up because he was sleeping. Then he said, get out of the bed. He said, look, is there any way, any way possible at all? And Adele woke up. She joined us. I couldn't believe it. I mean, he was, he was about to wake up. Jen will be wondering where you are. Weirdest noise. I have. Mike! Mike, I've had enough of this. Not yours. All right, Tracy. Okay, fine. Oh. Listen, uh, thanks for the juice. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. What? I was getting.
getting sick of him. I'm trying to. Ready? Ready? Go on. Yeah, that's it. Go on. You're doing it yourself. I've let go. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, go on. No, break. Break. Regular brakes will be fine, Maxie. I don't know. Have you just got out of your bed? Yeah, my alarm clock's didn't go off. I reset it so you can have a lie-in. Why? We discussed this, remember? Good and helpful so you can tell Cam. Who will be here any minute? <sighs> hey, Maxie. Show me. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I have Jen. The third pair in three months. My name is Senor Sol. Buongiorno. Oh, Sol, mio. It's not funny. His clothing allowance for this year is just about gone. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go do the shopping. I'll take him with me and buy an extra strong pair. Oh, so sweet of you leaving me all the fun jobs to do. Well, I had to give it a try, didn't I? I'll tell you what. Toss it for it when it goes shopping. Wait. Try and keep up, Adele. Quick, what shall I clean? The bathroom. She won't see me up there. I'll send her up to watch you the second you get here. Yeah, I know. It's very, very scary. You see? Cam just called. She's stuck somewhere. Car trouble. She said she'd get here as soon as she can. Meaning I've slaved all morning for nothing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. What a day. Keys. Come on. Thank you. Now, Maxie, my lad, not clever. the D word. No, it's no. all right. I got the short straw. <laughs> Is Tracy going to die? No, Maxie. It's only a bug. You know, like a tummy ache or a headache. Or... Oh, gosh. Is it? Looks like it's catching. What? I think it catches germs. Mike? Mike! Ah! Having a nice sleep, were we? Oh, just wanted to let you know that I'm here looking after everything. Have this. It's important to drink lots of fluids to flush out the system. Hey, I made that myself. Remember when the pottery lady came last summer? Next. No! Let it die, it's suffering. We only need to blow it up. The rubbish tip's cheaper than dynamite. I taught you everything you know with this ball. Yeah. It was good, wasn't I? I have magic feet and magic toes. I kick a ball and in it goes. And in it goes, and in it goes. Right, Ryan, pair to Tracy, to Tracy, come on. Good one. Play back to Tracy. Go on. Go on, give it a lash. Who is responsible for this? <coughs> Me. Sorry. I kicked it too hard. Anyone squeals, they get rat poo in their cereal. Lots of good memories, eh? Say goodbye to Mike. Goodbye, Mike. Thank you for all the lovely memories. Gotta go now. Next. All right, keep your frizz on. Well, hey, I've had this since I was at college. Imagine, and you still don't know what oats are. Hey. Not nice, eh? 
Do you know, we always meant to take you kids on a camping trip so we could sing for you around the campfire. <laughs> You'd have loved that. <laughs> sure. You bring the guitar, I'll bring the marshmallows. <laughs> High on a hill was a lonely goat herd. Lay, oh, lay, oh, lay, hee, hoo. How was the voice of the lonely goat herd? Lay, oh, lay, oh, loo. Goats in a town that was quite remote herd. Lay, oh, lay, oh, Shall I give you a quick tune? Quick, save yourself and I'll head him off at the pass. Uh, 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 oh, no, you don't. Where I go, the guitar goes. It's true love. Mike, there's a call for you. Whatever it was, I didn't do it. Nobody's in trouble. I've been asked to be an emergency replacement at a bigger care home. Someone had to leave suddenly. They've asked Mike to step in. For how long? It's permanent. When are you leaving? They say they need me for Monday. But this is your weekend off here! This is going to be Mike's last day here at Stowe House. Sorry it's so sudden, guys. Nobody knew until the last minute. We're all going to miss Mike, but this is a great opportunity for him. So let's all wish him lots of luck. life interesting anyway. So you're leaving us because we're boring and you want to change? <laughs> you're definitely not boring. Look, if someone moves on, it doesn't mean they're gonna forget you. Everyone forgets dumping ground kids. Oh, I won't, I promise. Guess who's back?